the rabbits that we would have here in Central Park are Eastern Cottontail rabbits. That's the one that's native to this area. And we used to have them here. Um, I used to see them in the Shakespeare Garden in the North Woods occasionally. Not so much here in the Ramble, but... Um, and this was maybe 10 years ago or so, between 5 and 10 years ago. Uh, was the last time I saw them. We have others, we have other mammals, you know, squirrels, raccoons, um, bats, so, but for some reason the uh, native rabbit population died out. So pets, people dropping pets off in the park is a problem, and I think what happens with rabbits is at Easter time, parents buy their kids these cute little rabbits, so what ends up happening, I assume, is that a few months later when, you know, after cleaning the cage out every day and having the, the furniture gnawed on, um, people get tired of having them, so they want to get rid of them. Rabbits, t their, their form of defense is camouflage. White rabbit's not going to camouflage itself here in Central Park. Well, if you buy a pet, you should be prepared to take care of it for life. On the other hand, it's not the worst death in, a, in the world for a rabbit. In the woods, they live a short, happy life, and then somebody eats them. Not the worst thing in the world. You just buy it, and then it's a pet, and you, and you leave it in the park, and then it dies. It's not very nice. Well, don't, don't buy bunnies in the first place, but yeah, don't leave animals in the park. There are all sorts of examples of exotic species being released and hurting the, the ecosystem as it exists. So, you know, if you can't take care of a bunny, don't get a bunny. 